All right, so I hope you guys enjoy this short little clip of a bunch of little mashed up clips that I put together um, of my paintings over the years. I just took a bunch of short little video clips of me doing my dots. Um, to be honest, I didn't go to school for art. I never really took any art classes. I'm self-taught. And um, I just learned recently that painting with dots is called pointillism. I didn't know that there was a name for it. Um, you know, I just thought it was, you know, something that I tried. It was an idea that I had. And then I started doing it. And then I showed one of my art friends. I was like, oh my goodness, look at this. And she was like, oh, that's actually called pointillism. And I did not know anything about it. So I just, you know, Googled it for you guys, and um, the Google definition says pointillism is a technique of painting in which small, distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. It was started in 1886 by Georges Seurat and Paul Signac and is considered part of the post-impressionist movement. So I've never really studied art or art history, um, and I'm thinking I might do a little research just to see, you know, to learn more about it. Like, I don't even know what post-impressionist movement is. So it's kind of interesting and fun, the things you learn. And here I was just thinking, oh, hey, like, look at this <laughs> unique thing I just created. But no, it's a whole thing, and I looked it up, and it was just pretty cool. So, um, I mean, heck, maybe I'm reincarnated, like one of those artists reincarnated. <laughs> Who knows? But um, anyways, uh, when I do these dots, it really does help to um, calm my anxiety, because I, I struggle and suffer from anxiety and overthinking and intrusive thoughts and things like that. My mind goes a little wild sometimes. And um, sitting here doing the paintings um, makes me focus and it forces me to take my time and um, to be still, really. Like, yeah, my hand is moving, but my, I am still. And it just really helps with relaxing, meditating, I'll just put on either like soothing music in the background or a podcast or, um, you know, whatever I feel like at the moment. Sometimes I blare my music. Sometimes I just need to quiet my mind and listen to nothing. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, it's just over the years, I sometimes take these short little video clips and I have them floating around my phone. I didn't really know what I was ever going to do with them, but I was like, why not? mush them together and show you all. Um, but yeah, it does take time. It does take patience, but it's super easy, super fun. I love the texture that it gives my paintings. I love the depth that it gives my paintings. Um, I love textured art where you can like touch the canvas and actually feel the paint, you know? And, um, it just gives, like I said, an extra depth and dimension. But I wonder if any of you guys paint, what's your style? Or how did you get into art? So let me know in the comments down below. Um, you know, I love enjoying art of all kinds. And I wish that people would support the art community more by purchasing from local artists, going to their local art fairs, um, supporting them by buying handmade things on Etsy, uh, you know, especially around the holiday time, gift giving time, instead of buying mass produced things from like Target and Walmart and Ross and TJ Maxx, like actually buy a handmade item. And support your local artist and I don't know just spread awareness of the of the art community and love for art well I will see how many more video clips maybe I'll make some more of these mashups thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later bye